Hey y'all, Pissed Off Redneck here. Now today is Friday. Friday, March 24th. You know what that means? That means the doctor is in. Now, uh, TGIF my sons and bitches, I hope you all had a good week. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you be safe. Do not drink and drive. And practice the safe sex. Now, for anybody under the age of 18, this daggone video is not for you. Get out. You cannot watch this video unless you're 18 years of age or older. My new subs. If you're offended easy, you might not want to watch this. It, it's pretty uh, adult oriented. The questions get kind of crazy. But if you're not offended easy, I hope you enjoy. The other thing is, I am not a real doctor. If you choose to take my messed up advice and answers to your questions, that's on you. It's not on me. I'm just letting you know. <coughs> Let's get right into this. Mrs. Lushbaum, my boyfriend shaved my pink. He cut me. And then she says, effer. It rhymes with trucker, but it starts with neff. So I'm just going to say effer because I don't want to get bitch slapped by YouTube for saying the F word. <coughs> but I, I, I'm not saying people don't put it in your questions. That's fine. But I just, I try to watch myself because I don't want to get the bitch slapped by the YouTube. So I'll start over. My boyfriend shaved my pink. He cut me. Effer. What would you suggest for cuts on my pink? Well, first of all, keep that asshole casserole boyfriend of yours away um, from your JJ when he's got a razor. I know you might think it's hot and it's sexy to let him shave that JJ, but look what happened. He cut that son of a bitch like he thought he was slicing up some roast beef. What I would do is I'd take some triple antibiotic cream and put on that. Keep her clean. Because you don't want to get infected all up in your JJ. That'll put you out of commission for a good while. So keep it clean and put the triple antibiotic cream on there. Are you picking up what I'm laying down and keep the razor and the boyfriend with the razor away from your JJ? Because he's not too good at it. I'm sorry to burst your bubble. <coughs> this one's from D-Lo Flow Vlogs. Have you, have you or anyone you know tried to stick four dildos in your butthole to see if they fit? No. I've never tried sticking anything in my butthole to see if it would fit. Now, as far as people I know, I'm sure if they did try sticking four of the dildos in their butthole, they're not going to walk around bragging about it. So if they did, I don't know. So no, I don't know anybody, and I sure to hell never did. I wouldn't do that. I don't, I don't try to put anything in my butthole. So no. Answer is no. No, no, no. <coughs> and this one's from uh, T T Z Gaming. I have a fake JJ, and I used it a lot about two weeks ago. I think I cleaned it, but when I used it last night... It felt weird. I guess my question is, could I get an STD from that? Well, no. You're not going to get an STD unless you let some other dude stick his skin pickle in your fake JJ. Then you might get an STD if that dude had a, a, a STD on his skin pickle and they put it in your JJ. Yeah, he's probably passing that right along. But it's a fake with JJ. It's not out there being a slut or, you know, a whore or a hooker getting, you know, the sex made to it all the time by different people. It's just you. So, no. But maybe there might be some kind of bacteria up in there that gets all up on your uh, flinger. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> but, no. No STD from the fake with JJ if you're the only one that ever used it. This one's from Kim. Kim's awesome. She has some great questions. I get a thrill out of doing the nasty in public places. You go, girl. Elevators, stairwells, parking garages, the deck of the Empire State Building. You name it. Is there something wrong with me? No, Kim, there's nothing wrong with you. You let that freak flag fly, girl. Nothing wrong with that. A lot of people get a thrill out of that. You know, hoping maybe someone sees them. They like, they like the idea of maybe someone, you know, <laughs> watching, 
But no, there's nothing wrong with you at all. You're adventurous. That's awesome. So, Kim, no, nothing wrong with you. Yeah, no, it's what you like to do. And it's not that crazy. It's not like shoving four dildos up your butthole. You're good. I like that you like to do the nasty in public places. You're all good. No, nothing wrong with it. It's adventurous. I give you the big thumbs up. You go, girl. <coughs> you get your freak flag flying. Okay. This one's from Charlie Brown. He asks questions every week. He says, my girlfriend caught me staring at, uh, at her 60-year-old mom's behind. Then she noticed that I had a raging semi. Should I admit that I have an old lady fetish, or do I keep try or keep lying? What do you think I should do? To be on or be honest and ask for a three-way. <coughs> well, Charlie Brown, you might want to. I mean, that's up to you. If you want to let her know that you know you have an old lady fetish and they make your sticker peck out, make your hipples nard, then I would tell her that. But I wouldn't offer to, you know, get, try to get her to have a three-way with her, you, and her mom. That might be a little awkward for her. So maybe suggest, maybe you guys find another person, another older lady, that would be down to have a three-way. And someone you guys aren't related to. That's where I'd start. But that's up to you if you want to tell her. I mean, she... Either she just thinks you're hot for her. I would probably tell her. Because right now, she thinks her mom's making her sticker peck out. And I know she is, but it's not because it's her mom. You just like older ladies. So, I would tell her. And then if you want to try to get her to have, you know, a threesome with an older lady, do it with someone no one's related to. You or your wife. Or your girlfriend. I'm sorry, not wife. Because <laughs> that's too awkward. Do you think she's going to want to be getting all doing the nasty with her mom? No, that's weird. Find an another older lady you're, that she's not related to, or you're not related to either, you six num bitch. Okay, this one's from Dandy Lions. She's awesome too. She, has, she leaves some of the best comments on my videos. My man wants to make the sex to me with his toe. He has the nastiest toe fungus. I don't want mushrooms growing out my cooter. What is the best way to deny his request? Dandelions, just tell him, I don't want no toes up my JJ. I'm not into that, I don't like it. I'm not doing it. I don't do the toe stuff. I think you can do that without hurting his feelings. Just tell him it's not something you're into and you don't want no daygum toe up in your JJ. All up in your business. That's what, that's what you should do. You don't got to tell him it's because you got some nasty toe fungus and you don't want the mushrooms growing out your cooter. Just tell him you don't want that, a toe up in your cooter. You don't, you're not into it. You don't like it. You don't want it. It's turn off. Tell him, do you want my toe up your butthole? Well, you might be in trouble if he says, yeah. Because then he might be calling your bluff. So just tell him, no, I don't like that. I'm not into it. Keep your toe away from my JJ. Okay, last question. This one's from Hugh. Hugh's a good guy, too. He's a newer subscriber, and he's a good guy. He's a loyal guy. I like this guy. Thumbs up to the Hugh. It has been proven that ancient Egyptians had sex with a variety of animals. One was a crocodile. How do you picture this going down? Well, Hugh, very fucking carefully. I'm sorry I let the effort fly. My bad. I apologize to you, too. Please don't bitch slap me. <clears throat> Very carefully, Hugh. You don't want that thing to spin around while you're going to make the sex to it and chomp off your skin pickle. Or wag that tail and smack you in a daggum tool bag and knock your, your, you know, your, your nuts around. That hurts. I imagine getting hit by a gator tail in the, in the tool bag would hurt even worse. Not to mention, those things spin around pretty quick and... Chomp your, you know, chomp your skin pickle right off. There goes your flinger. And then they just take it and run. Eat it up. Chomp, chomp. So I don't know how that would go down other than that. Unless that son of a bitch is sleeping or dead. I don't know. I think it's too risky. 
you're either going to get whacked in a tool bag or your skin pickle bit off. So I would, I, I, there, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Whoa. Whoa. Excuse me there, people. So no, I think that's stupid. I don't know how they did it. I don't know how it went down. I, your question was great. I'm not saying your question was stupid. But they're idiots for trying to make the sex with a daggum alligator. Any animal, to be honest with you. What the hell shit's that? What, there were no Egyptian women to make the sex to? That was the last question for this week. Let's start getting your questions in for next week. Leave them in the comments. Every week I'm challenging you guys to make every week better. The better the questions, the better the video. So I, And, you know, let's get some more questions. So I'm challenging you every week. I'm putting a challenge out. This goes every week. Let's make it better than last week's. Start getting your questions in. Leave them in the comments or leave them on my Twitter at Hoppy69 using hashtag AskThatGuy. Please, subscribe to my channel. I need subscribers. Hit that thumbs up, some bitch. Give me a like. Share my videos. Help me get my wisdom out there. Help me get it out there. Follow me on the Twitter, Hoppy69. Uh, I will put a, a link in the description below. For that Facebook page, if you guys want to join the uh, Pissed Off Redneck Facebook page. And um, also, I'll put my P.O. box down there in case you want to send me any stickers and such. I got a couple stickers in the mail. I'm going to share those tomorrow. <coughs> so in case you want to send me stickers, P.O. box being below, below, or a letter, or just a card or something. I hope you all have a great week, or weekend. I hope you had a great week. I hope you have a good weekend. I hope you stay safe, no drinking and driving. You might wreck and knock your eyeball out. If you got a drink, call a freaking Uber. Again, don't puke in that Uber. They'll charge you extra. Uh, have safe sex. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, my sons of bitches. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And I'm always thankful for my sons of bitches. I'm out, my sons of bitches. Having this sex with an alligator. Get your flinger bit off. What the hell kind of shit is that?